Hey, what's up, guys? Reef Spy here, and I'm back. Sorry, it's been a little while since I posted a video. I've uh, just been a little bit busy here, but just want to get this out there and let you know that I'm still here and I've got some videos planned that should be coming out in the next week or so. Uh, tank is doing pretty good. Uh, I've got some upgrades on the way. I've just ordered myself an Apex controller, so I can't wait to get that in here. And I've also got the Wave Apex Wave pumps coming with it. So that should be pretty exciting getting that set up. But in the meantime, <coughs> excuse me, I'll just give a little update on the corals and the fish. Just a quick walkthrough, not a full update. But um, Oh, another thing that you may notice, uh, not sure if you will or not, but this is now being filmed on an iPhone 7. So I've got an iPhone 7, which supposedly has an updated camera. So we'll see if this makes any difference over the previous videos. But let's go in here. There's the rock flower anemones. Got some green star polyps. Toadstool leather. A little bit closed up. I think the clownfish have been hanging around there. I don't know if they're trying to host that or what. Um, but <laughs> it was all opened up and they started rubbing against it. And it looks like it closed it all up. There's the anthelia or waving hand coral. I believe it is. Got a couple of chalices, a bunch of hammer corals, um, which are getting big. That purple one, that was all one colony, and there's even more of it up there. And over there, that was all come from one colony uh, that just got so huge, it fell over, and I had to frag it up. <clears throat> and there was even a few more pieces that I've uh, given away and put other places, other tanks. Uh, but yeah, that thing got giant, so let's see if that'll grow up again. I got my torch coral. I put some Monty caps up here on the overflows and they're starting to grow. That little purple one and a little green one were just little tiny frags, little tiny pieces when I put them there and they've grown quite a bit. So it was kind of a little experiment to see, uh, you know, how that would do with just a little tiny frag and well, they're doing good. They're in a good spot. All right, let's move along. Uh, I've got this huge leather coral. Um, it's just really, really, really getting big. Uh, as you can see, there's some things underneath it. There's a little green Monty cap. Some days that leather sort of tilts the other way and gets light, but I'm probably going to have to move that out from under there. <clears throat> it's just going to get smothered. Uh, what else do we have? In the back, you've got that orange, or oh, I forget what it's called, lepto something. Uh, basically, Billy Pipes gave me that. Awesome, awesome little piece. Uh, if you know what that is, Billy, leave a comment. I forget what it was, which told me. Got my bird's nest coral. Just keeps growing and growing. I took so many frags off of that thing, and it's, well, <laughs> accidentally took the frags off. I was trying to move it, and a lot of pieces broke off. Uh, but it's all filling back in. Got my stylophora, the purple one. There. Got a possipora. Nice blue acro. I got some more acros and monopores up here on this stick. That red Monty got huge. I keep taking frags off of that. Uh, what do we got out front? Duncan coral. Uh, a couple of um, digitatas. I got to move them. They're getting shaded by this possilopora and not getting the light that they need. So we have to move them somewhere. Got a bunch of zoanthids, one of them is all closed up right now. Probably a crab walked across. Some more star polyps. I'm going to trim this back again. That just keeps growing. Miami hurricane chalice. Purple money. Monopora. Um, all these things in this area right here, there's just like coral warfare going on <laughs> down here. Everything is just grown into each other. I... Got to get in there and see what I can do, but I'm just kind of letting it go right now to see uh, see who wins. <laughs> but it's, yeah, the borders are drawn, so they're kind of fighting, trying to take over the area. Uh, then over here is this big mountain. It's where all my, well, not all of them, but a lot of my acropores and SPS are up there. They're doing pretty good. So I got them up there. Some more pieces down here. 
candy cane. Got this huge bunch of Kenya trees. I got to get in there and trim that out. That just keeps growing and growing. <coughs> um, so, yeah, uh, that's what we got going on with all the corals. And then you might see a bunch of the fish here. I've got five tangs in here now. So you can see my Desjardins self in, yellow tang. There's the powder brown. There's the Tamini tang. And there's my blue tang. And they're all getting along just fine. Got a couple of Antheus in there. So there's the male liar tail. And there's a female somewhere. A lot of times she hides in a cave back there. Uh, what else? Got my two Ocellaris clownfish. And there's a little neon blue goby back there. I've got a couple of pink skunk clowns. You only see the one right now. The other one's in there somewhere. Oh, here you can see the clown. I don't know if they're hosting in that leather or what, but they've been staying real close to that. And yeah, that's about it. I'll bring up you know, more of an update uh, later on this week. But just wanted to let you know, tank's still here. I'm still here. Um, got my frag tank. It's still doing pretty good. All the corals are starting to color up and come back to life after the parameter swings. They were doing pretty bad. So, all right, guys, that's it for now. And uh, I'll catch you guys later on in the week. Thanks for watching.